Hi guys, Martin here with another roundup of all the latest racing game news straight from the Team VVV website. This week my extensive 2014 preview finally went up on the site, giving you a complete breakdown of all the racing games throughout this year I could possibly find. It looks to be quite a congested year too. Uh, we've got several major next generation racing releases to look forward to, all hoping to offer something new, from the social centric drive club on PS4, to Ubisoft's ambitious open world race of the crew, not to mention the final releases of Project Cars and Assetto Corsa to keep sim racers happy. Uh, bike racing fans also have milestones in MXGP to look forward to, but I'm personally looking forward to Bugbear's Destruction Derby inspired next car game, which as we've already seen puts every other game's damage modelling to shame. Then we have a number of smaller indie releases which are no less worthy of your attention. Uh, such as the Tron inspired Distance and Road Redemption, a combat bike racing game hoping to resurrect Road Rash. This was rounded off with a list of some unconfirmed titles and some speculation on my part. Dirt 4, for example, hasn't been officially announced yet by Codemasters, but they've already said it will be a more rally orientated game, along with some not so subtle hints that we will see it this year, presumably on next gen consoles. Likewise, we know that there will be another Need for Speed game this year, no doubt released in November. Uh, people want it to be Need for Speed Underground 3, but I think this would look a bit outdated now, uh, especially because the Fast and Furious fad is over. But EA Ghost has already said that they want to expand the car customization, so we'll probably see this in this year's sequel. Forza is also being turned into an annual series as well, so chances are we'll be seeing Forza Horizon 2 on Xbox One with any luck. But anyway, you can read my full list of every currently announced racing game this year in my preview which we've got linked below, and feel free to leave us your comments letting us know which racing games you're looking forward to most from my list. Many of the games included in the list don't have a solid release date yet, but Drive Clubs is particularly uncertain, er, uncertain at the moment. What was originally meant to be a launch title was put back to early 2014, but now the latest rumours suggest it might not be ready until as late as June. Again, there still hasn't been any official confirmation on this, but Sony is sticking with their plan to announce a release date soon, so don't be too shocked if it's put back to the summer. It has to be said, for a game that's still supposed to be out early this year, there hasn't been much in the way of marketing for Drive Club, which seems odd for such a major release for Sony, and it only makes the summer release seem more plausible. With this in mind, some fresh gameplay also emerged from an internal brand video you apparently weren't meant to see which gives us an interesting insight into Evolution's branding strategies, from the logos and typography to the deliberate desaturation applied to the graphics. Uh, you can watch the video for yourself in the link below. Elsewhere, this week's racing game news was really dominated by a series of patch updates released for a number of different games. Uh, we had the latest Gran Turismo 6 update for example, which added several new fictional cars for the latest Red Bull Challenge plus the addition of a performance version of the AMG Vision and the debut of the modified Corvette Stingray Gran Turismo concept. Likewise, iRacing also treated players to a couple of new cars, with its latest update in the form of the super late stock car and the rough RT12R. Finally, WRC4 also received its first patch. Uh, no new cars to speak of here though, but it does address a number of common issues along with improved wheel support and the option to set the frame rate for the PC version. Uh, R-Factor 2 is also scheduled for an update soon in the form of a new Silverstone. It was originally of course released alongside the British Grand Prix last year, but it wasn't quite finished as it was missing some surface data. This has since been acquired however, and the new version is said to be a much more realistic representation of the actual track as a result. One game that hasn't been updated in a long time is Auto Club Revolution, but that's about to change according to Utechnics, who promised them, uh, that a host of exciting new developments are on the way. Starting with the release of a new licensed track, the Watkins Glen International, which was previously the home of the US Grand Prix. Trophy truck racing is pretty underrepresented in racing games, Codemasters don't dabble with it, but uh, dedicated off-road truck racing games are still something of a rarity. One man hopes to change this however with a game called D-Series, a new indie off-road driving simulation that will also feature trophy carts and rally cars. Uh, the developer is looking for funding though which you can support on his Kickstarter page found in the link below. 
Uh, there's also a demo you can try, but be aware that it does require a wheel to work, as I found out myself when I tried to run it, only for it to crash when it didn't detect a wheel. Don't you just hate it when you buy a racing game and then subsequently buy all of its post DLC, only for the game to be re-released with said, the said DLC at a cheaper price? Well, that's exactly what Co-Bastards are doing with the release of Grid 2 Reloaded, a digital-only release on PS3 and PC that bundles all the DLC packs into one neat package for the price of the original game. It probably shouldn't be very surprising though in hindsight as they released a reloaded version of the original Grid at the time too. Uh, elsewhere on the site, Top Gear returns this weekend, and as VVV's resident fanboy, I couldn't resist writing an extensive preview of what we can expect from the new series. That's it for now, but I'll be back next time with another roundup. As always, you can read up on all the uh, stories mentioned in the video using the links below. Visit us at teamvvv.com for all the latest racing game news, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.